So Notion AI is an incredibly powerful AI writing tool, a brainstorming tool, and just AI assistant. Do you want to create a thousand word blog post? Done. Do you want to summarize articles? Done. It's a very powerful tool. In this video, I'm going to go over all the different Notion AI use cases and just a walkthrough of the platform. Let's jump into my computer and go over it. So let's first do a quick overview on Notion AI. There are two main ways you can use it, just generally speaking. So we have a blank page here on Notion. The first way you can use it is to create ideas from scratch. Use it as a brainstorming tool. So when you create a new page, you'll see this text box here, write Notion AI. We'll click this and it actually just gives us a prompt here. Ask the AI what to write and you can draft posts such as brainstorms, blog posts, outlines, social media posts, press release, etc. You can even click see more and get all of these different ideas. We will walk through quite a few of these and it has your recent prompts as well. So let's write a press release. I like to do this as an example. Write a press release about comparing AI, a website helping you compare and discover the best AI tools. Click enter and the AI will start writing. Just from a one sentence prompt, it's gonna give us this output here. Are you looking for the best AI tools on the market but don't know where to start? Comparing AI is here to help. A website dedicated to helping you find the right AI tools for your needs and it's just gonna continue going. And then we can continue writing, make it longer, try again, or just click done. So that is the first use case. You can brainstorm ideas from scratch with Notion AI. The second use case is you can use it as a powerful editing tool. So we're gonna highlight some text and you will see the toolbar pop up and we have the Ask AI here. And here we will get a different set of prompts related to editing. So you can improve the writing, fix spelling and grammar, make longer, shorter, change the tones, simplify the language. We can scroll down and there are just a ton of options. And then again, we see the ones for brainstorming at the bottom here, which we just went through. The one I like to use a lot personally is improve writing. A lot of times my writing is kind of, I just don't like how it comes out. So I will just improve the writing and let the AI rewrite it and rephrase it so it sounds more professional. As you can see, here is an output here. We can replace that, continue, make it longer, or just try again. Now with Notion AI, you only get one output at a time. If you see this one here, this is WordTune. So just to give you a comparison, when I do WordTune, which is another AI writing assistant, it gives you a bunch of outputs, which is actually very useful. But anyways, that is the quick overview of Notion AI. If we go to their website, you will see the same thing. You can brainstorm ideas, let Notion AI handle the first draft, create all these different types of content, whether it's a poem or a social media post, but then you can also use it as a powerful editor too. At the time of this video, Notion AI is in its alpha release stage, so it is free for the time being. All you have to do is join the waitlist and enter your email. You can do that by clicking the link in the description. Now you will be put on to the waitlist and it took me three or four weeks to get in, but it was well worth it because you get access to this tool while it's free. And if you're interested in getting the best AI tools that you can start using today, you can go to comparing.ai, just enter your email and I will send you a list of the hottest AI tools that you can start using. Now let's jump back into, now in the rest of this video, I want to go through just different prompts and use cases and just show you the magic of this powerful AI tool. So the first use case or prompt you can try is make pros and cons tables. To access the AI, you can press space or slash for commands and you see the ask AI what to write. We'll paste in our prompt, make a pros and cons table for intermittent fasting. And I might fast forward some parts of the video just to save time, but here we go. We have a pros and cons list for intermittent fasting. Obviously you can do this for any type of example. Now you can also make a comparison table for intermittent fasting versus keto and it'll spit that out. And then obviously the use cases are endless. Now I have noticed that sometimes it does do this and the formatting is kind of off. I think it's trying to do bullet points here, uh, but it's just not formatting right for whatever reason. Another way you can do this, let's try another prompt here. Again, we click the space bar. Let's paste in my prompt. I already have these pre-written. Create a five-day work workout plan using only body weight exercises. My goal is to build muscle and increase strength. And this is kind of similar to the ChatGPT style outputs that you get. Now, I don't know about the quality of this plan. Maybe we have to play around with the outputs, ask for more specific information, but that's pretty cool to give you an idea how it works. And then we also could have asked for this in a table if we wanted to. Now let's do a third prompt. If you want to do research or learn about topics, we can make a comparison table 
as an example for stock market investing versus real estate investing. And that's very cool. As we can see here, we have stock market investing can be done from anywhere versus real estate is location specific, no physical possession of the asset, real estate, physical possession, etc., etc. And obviously, if you already use Notion, it's very convenient to have this AI tool where you are already working. Now, the fourth use case here, let's do the blog posts. So let's ask the AI to write a thousand word blog post. For my example, I have a blog post explaining what is Bitcoin, like you're speaking to a 10 year old. Format it using H2 headings and try to use bullet points, numbered lists, and short paragraphs to keep it engaging. Feel free to steal my prompts, uh, but let's enter this and see what it pops up. And just for fun, I'm gonna open ChatGPT in another tab and put in the same prompt so we can compare it. So it gave us this so far. I don't know if this is a thousand words, but you can always just highlight the text, click ask AI, and then click continue writing. And see now it's not giving me Bitcoin related stuff. It's giving me the previous prompt. So let's just discard that. Let's see if we can just continue writing from here. Okay, so it's only giving me the previous prompt for some reason. Anyways, this is what it came out with. What is Bitcoin? It's a digital currency like money, but it only exists online. A 10 year old can think of it like monopoly money, just in a digital form. Unlike regular money, Bitcoin isn't printed by governments or banks. It is created and held electronically. It's a technology called a blockchain. It has a ledger that keeps track of all the transactions that have ever been made. And the benefits are okay. It's not the most well-researched article, but this is a really good first draft. The risks are better than the benefits. I'll give it that. Uh, but as a first draft in the formatting, this is a really good start for the article. Now comparing it to ChatGPT, which is still going here, it's giving us a much longer post it looks like. So hi there, today we're going to talk about something very interesting called Bitcoin. Have you ever heard of it before? If not, don't worry. So Bitcoin is a type of digital money. That means it's like the money you use every day, except that you can't touch it. It's stored on the internet, just like your email or your favorite video game. Very interesting. It's using different uh, analogies that relate to a 10 year old, I guess. And I think this is already better than the Notion AI one. Uh, but it's not formatted as well. You're not getting the, the headings. I like how Notion gives you the H2 headings here. And then it has lots of different headings. Is it safe? What's so special? It's decentralized, it's limited, it's fast and cheap to use. So the pros here are much better than the benefits here. So that's kind of the comparison there. Regardless, both are very good outputs. Here is use case number five for Notion AI. We can do summaries and research. So since we're on the topic of Bitcoin, I'm going to copy, this is the Bitcoin white paper, which is about eight pages long. So I'm gonna copy this entire thing and we're gonna get Notion to summarize this. So click space, we're gonna paste that in. It's a very long eight page piece of text and shift enter and we're gonna put the prompt here at the top. Summarize the Bitcoin white paper into bullet points and H2 headings so it's easy to understand. Let's see what it says and let's see how long this takes. So I think it's getting messed up because of the previous text. So I'm just going to delete everything on this page and try that prompt again. We're just going to do that. And here we go. Introduction, purely peer to peer version of electronic cash, digital signatures, a solution to the double spending problem. And here it goes. Very powerful guys. We put it in an eight page document and it's just spinning it out into bullet points. And just for fun, actually, let's do the same thing in chat GPT and let's just start over from scratch. So again, super long piece of text eight pages and we got an error here. Also, ChatGPT needs a shorter message. Let me reload it and try it again, just in case. Yeah, so ChatGPT isn't letting me do it because it's too long. So that's one good thing about Notion, I guess. You can enter very long pieces of text. Very good job. You can do this for investing reports. You can do this for cryptocurrency white papers, study material, uh, whatever kind of documents you need, you can enter that. Now let's go a little bit further into this. So what are some common questions that beginners have about Bitcoin? Now, if you're doing topic research for blog posts or you're just trying to educate yourself and do research, you can look at all of these questions, all within Notion, obviously. And let's see if we could just answer this question. What are some tips for staying safe? Use a secure wallet. Only transact with verified and trusted exchanges. Don't keep large amounts on a single address. These are all very true statements. However, you would only know if they're true if you have lots of knowledge on this topic. So it's always important to verify everything with these AI tools. Another prompt that I like to use is what are some things that most people don't know about XYZ topic, in this case, Bitcoin. Most people are unaware that Bitcoin is not just a form of digital currency, but also a payment system. It's a peer to peer network, not controlled by any single entity. No one can control the network or manipulate it in any way, which is true, but I think that's commonly known maybe. It's also a store of value. Bitcoin is a deflationary asset, meaning it's designed to appreciate in value over time. 
limited to 21 million. It's more secure than traditional payment systems. If we ask that to ChatGPT, it does give us, I think, a better answer. Bitcoin is not anonymous, which is true. It's pseudo-anonymous because all transactions are recorded on a public ledger called a black blockchain. The transactions are traceable, which means that if someone knows your Bitcoin address, they can see all the transactions associated. The creator of Bitcoin is still unknown. Bitcoin is divisible. I think so far, ChatGPT is giving us better quality information, at least when it comes to these examples that I'm using. Uh, but Notion is doing better for just formatting it. It's letting us put in eight pages of text to summarize. Now let's move over to job descriptions. If we go to Notion AI, they have job descriptions highlighted here. And this one is really good. So again, we just have a one sentence, two sentence text here. Write a job description to hire a research assistant for comparing AI. We review the latest AI tools. Enter. Just from two sentences here, it's going to output us something really good. Help us review the latest AI tools. The ideal candidate will have strong research skills and be comfortable working in a fast paced environment. So if I'm ever hiring people on Upwork or freelancers, this usually takes me a while to write the job description. Like I don't know what I have to do, but just like that in 20 seconds, I got a pretty good job post here. And there are so many use cases. I'm just gonna quickly rapid fire through some more so we can create outlines, create an SEO optimized outline for for how to play pickleball and not only does it give us the headings it's giving us some bullet points to talk about here so here is your outline for how to play pickleball the next rapid fire one is we can create titles which i like to do a lot so let's actually go up here here we go we just got 10 titles for this post we can also ask it to get creative like try again but keep pickleball the main keyword near the beginning and there you go pickleball beginner's guide pickleball basics etc so i'm just going to stop that discard let's go down again so the next rapid fire one is we can write sales emails so write me three templates for a sales email that i can copy and paste and look at this so it's giving us the subject line three different variations just like that and the use cases are really endless i could keep going but i think you guys get the point i haven't done much of the editing but again you can make anything longer you can change the tone so if you want to make this more more confident you know you can change the tone we can make this longer we can continue writing and it really just comes down to your own creativity and what you need to use it for. But overall, Notion AI is very powerful, as you can see in the examples that I gave you. So looking at the pricing, Notion AI will be free in alpha, but will likely cost extra in the future. So you can use the link in the description to join the waitlist and get it for free while this still lasts. It's well worth it to get a tool like this. Like look at all this text. Just to write this myself would have taken hours and hours. And I just did this in what, a 10, 15 minute YouTube video. So drop a like if this was helpful. Check out Comparing AI for more AI videos and tools. And visit comparing.ai if you want a free list of the hottest AI tools that you can start using today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.